But generally speaking, out there, people that are just not really knowing what they're doing, 100% of them that are under the age of approximately 40 or 50 years old are here not just for their own purpose, but they're also here to serve the collective in this enlightenment age, whether they know it or not, whether they want it or not. Well, they want it, ultimately, but whether they realize they want it or not. So what I'm saying is that whatever psychological issues you might seemingly be dealing with, just know that, that you're not the only person dealing with that. And as you're dealing with that in the most conscious way, you're literally, you're literally, you're literally enlightening that darkness in the net of our collective and that same area of consciousness which so many others around the world are hooked into, the same blueprint, the same area, you are being of service to, in many of your cases, literally millions of people by making a shift in the solitude of your bedroom. So realize that you are spiritual teachers and you are responsible. You are responsible for the stuff that you agreed to experience. You are responsible for whatever lingers in you today that no longer fits in with this new reality that needs to be looked at and transformed. This is what you want. This is why you're here and this is your service. Nobody may ever know about it in many of your cases, but you can know about it. And everyone else hooked into the same area of consciousness will somehow know about it. And once everybody's dead, you will rejoice on spirit level and see all the work that you've done and all the beings that you benefited. And you will come together in this great afterlife party. And suddenly there's a million people waiting to thank you for your service. So you may never know that you're a spiritual teacher and well known at that, but you are. So don't feel like it's just you in your head because it's never just you in your head. There's nothing that you can do today that is not exposed to the collective, vibrationally exposed. We've already reached a vibrational environment within which transparency is king. So we might still hold up on our very personal consciousness level, we might still hold up the barriers of, I don't know what you're thinking right now. We might still pretend that's the case. But environmentally, vibrationally speaking, that's no longer the case. Everything is lifted. The veil has been lifted. This means that everything you do is available to everyone else for all of eternity. Don't be ashamed. Don't try to contain yourself. Like I said, it's never been just you and your head. It's always been you and your service to planet Earth. So feel empowered in that way. Don't feel stuck because you're not stuck. You're being of service. You're helping. You're working on the last few fragments that represent an old collective consciousness that cannot fully move into the new world as it stands. And so we're all cleaning up. It's like one dirty vibrational room and we're all, after a party, a big party of millennia of warfare and vibrational mess. But now everyone, at least those that are conscious to be conscious of their struggle and to be able to navigate it at least to some extent, we are the cleaning crew. And that's quite all right because we will inherit this earth no matter if we fail or succeed in cleaning up everyone else's mess. But we'll try. We'll try our best. We'll go as far as we can. We'll get as many with us as we can. You've already made it, so you're just being of service. You're just sticking your hands out into the old earth. Oh, let me remove this from your path. Oh, let me make it easy on you. You still have to walk this way. But let me make it easy on you. Let me make it conscious to you. Let me enlighten you so that you know not to run in that direction, but to actually walk towards the light. Does this make sense? Does this resonate as potentially true in your own life? Good. So be proud of yourself. That's a very underestimated quality in spirituality. I feel proud of myself so many times. <laughs> <laughs> Even more opposition? You got this. And then making it through. And then I'm so proud of myself yet again, and yet again, and yet again. Be proud of yourself. It's a good quality. Don't be afraid that it will trigger your ego. It's good to trigger your ego. The quicker it will disappear. The quicker it will relax itself. If you suppress it all the time, it will always be there, lurking, controlling your thoughts from the shadows of your being. Expose it. Be proud. Feel better than everybody else every once in a while. See how that feels. 
Bring consciousness into that experience. What does it feel like to be superior to everyone else? What does it feel like to feel inferior to everyone else? Same question, really. Feel into these things that make up this comparative mechanism that we call the ego effect. Bring light to it. Bring freedom to it. Let it express itself. If you let it express itself in a safe environment where you just hold the space for it and you feel the feelings without killing someone that's in your way or stealing something from someone because they have it and you think you don't, but just letting it arise in the space. Letting the full ego effect come about. What do you really want? Do you want to be on stage? Do you want to talk to a million people? Do you want to um, drive the fastest car in the world? Do you want to have the most money out of everyone? Let these thoughts come up and own them, feel them, so that they can clarify themselves, so that they can become pure, they can become allies instead of distractions and negative shadow sides of you. Bring it all out into the light so that you can use all of that desire, all of that passion for power to the advantage of everyone, for everyone's best interests.